What's up, everybody? My name is Adam. This is like my third time recording this introduction, and I am the editor and director of the Dream Shaolin music video, Suki, by the world's sexiest rap group. Now, I kind of wanted to make a video breaking down the concept of the idea we had, the editing process, the filming process, um, just to give some insight to maybe if you want to do this as well, uh, what to do, most importantly, what not to do, and hopefully, you know, execute your idea uh, a lot better. Because if I had known what I had known now, when I started this, I would have done a couple of things differently. I would have done some things the same. And I just hope, hopefully this video will help you out. And also, I kind of wanted to talk about the concept and the kind of the creative aspect we had with this video, just because I think it's really cool. So in order to know kind of what we or why we did what we did, I kind of got to break down the song and explain to you kind of the key uh, ideas we had and where we pulled from. So the song is called Suki and it is off instrumental by Ant Clemens. The song is Aladdin featuring Pharrell and produced by the stereotypes. Now, if you check out our song or their song, um, you'll notice that right off the bat, the beat sounds like a video game, sounds like an 8-bit video game, and it reminds me of, I had this game, there's one, it's like a one joystick game, it's a plug and play, and it was like the SpongeBob SquarePants one, and it really reminded me of that, so I thought that would be a cool kind of aesthetic to take from, and on our song, the first line is, you know, Suki and a Honda running checks for my mama bars of the century and i mean you could tell that's the song title is called suki and that is a reference to the too fast too furious movie specifically if you haven't seen the film at the very beginning there is a big race with the character uh called suki uh her name is suki uh paul walker ja rule and i for, forgot the other guy's name sorry um and if you're not, it's very iconic. So if you don't know what I'm talking about and you've been to Southern California on Halloween, every Asian girl is dressed up as Suki with her Caucasian boyfriend, probably dressed as Paul Walker. So you've probably seen what I'm talking about, even if you haven't seen the movie, because that's how, you know, iconic it is. And it's I mean, it's iconic for a reason. It looks dope as hell. The, the visuals are so cool. And I thought and the race is like cool as well. So I thought it would be a cool idea to take the artists from the song and kind of like plop them in to the race and see like they're racing. And if I take that, I took that kind of racing idea and the 8-bit idea and I, I meshed it together and it kind of worked out very well because um, if I wanted to, my idea was to turn that race into an 8-bit race, which means I can animate it or I could do it on my computer and I didn't actually need to film a real street race because that would have been a lot harder and we do not have access to those type of cars. So that's kind of like the overall gist of it. I wanted um, uh, what my idea was, but the thing was is how to make that idea. And to someone that's never animated before, I kind of, I know Premiere Pro like how to use it. I'm no professional and having access to you know limited limited supplies we had to come up with how will we make this possible all right filming equipment that we used the filming process and how we did it so i used my homie serge's sergio's uh sony a6400 i think that's how you say it very nice camera very happy to use it um it came out great but honestly, if you really wanted to, you could just use your phone and it worked just as well, get the job done. And we used a green screen. I wish I had it to show you, but the green screen we used was like a, it's like a big drape, which, you know, first thing that I wish we didn't use was that. And I wish we had, um, there's two types of green screens I see that are very cheap. Um, and one is the one we have, which is a big drape, which we got because for another video, we had to use it for a bigger, uh, we needed a bigger shot. So that helped. But in this case, I would have went for, uh, it's made of film. It's very like, um, it doesn't get, I don't know that it's like collapsible because the one we had got very, it got really wrinkly 
and it didn't have a stand and these the ones that I'll put a picture of it right here this one would have a stand it's collapsible and it's always it never gets wrinkly and the only thing is that it's it covers a smaller space but that would have been used much better here especially if if you have a shot where it's only like this like your the front I don't know what you call it but like your face that's definitely the one to go for and uh, we had uh, fake wheels that we had to use for the live action shots. And that's really about it. Uh, we had uh, a light to, for, you know, to cast shadows and stuff. That's not really needed that much, but, you know, it just adds a little more detail if you have it. So that's what we really use for the filming process. Oh, and a tripod as well to keep the, the video straight. Um, and not have a move around too much and that's literally all we did for the filming process we set up in uh, a living room my homie's house and we set up a chair he sat in the chair for the car um, like you're sitting in the car set up the wheel and we set up like a higher chair to put the wheel on uh, but we just cropped it so you didn't see that that chair to kind of just arrest the wheel and all you really need to see is like this and that's really it we did for the filming process. It wasn't that much to it. It took us like two takes. We did different angles, one from the face and one from the side, as you'll see. And it was really easy to do. Okay, so now the editing process. Now this took a little more time because like I said, we had to you know, animate stuff, make it all 8-bit and kind of create a virtual world. And first, another piece of advice is something not to do is besides maybe the backgrounds uh, that came out pretty well the other stuff i went and used ai art which i recommend you do not do and the reason i did that was one i really wanted to hire an artist to do the all the characters and all like the cars and stuff but i didn't have the the budget for it and i ended up taking more time editing the AI art not to look like AI art in Photoshop than if I just edited it myself. So that's just a little piece of advice. Do it yourself or if you can, I would uh, opt into hiring an artist to do it if you don't know how to create something like that. Anyways, like I said, this whole thing is like if you're playing a video game. So I wanted to start off with a introduction screen. Like if you uh, started a video game and it's like the press start and it's like kind of a little intro to the story and then a selection screen for your characters you know i had this whole just a little side note i had this whole intro about like my homie like a live action part like my homie giving another homie like yo i found this game in the shop here you go and we printed out like on a dvd case but i ended up thinking like yo the viewer probably not gonna give a fuck and they're gonna click off because attention span is kind of short so i wanted to kind of dive into it as quick as possible so here this background is AI art, but like the Shanghai Street Racer is the name of the video game. I created that in Photoshop. Everything I created pretty much in Photoshop. Um, they're all oops, let me turn the volume down. They're all still images. Everything is still images. But the big thing I think that kind of makes these still images come to life is definitely the sound effects. Like you can easily look up like commercial use video game sound effects or any other type of thing. Like just those little details make this kind of come to life and you can see them down here it's like a little um like a little beep and then like the sound and then uh uh the music okay so it kind of went into here but this is the next thing i want to show you was kind of the text like in a video game it kind of shows up like this like kind of a swipe or like they're typing and i use a certain font um i can't remember i'll put it up on the screen if i remember it and what I did to create this was I used a on, so you click the font, and I used a linear uh, white right here on the left side, if you can see it highlighted. And I just created that to like, it's like cropping. So it's like cropping it where you can't see it and then slowly undoing the cropping. And that's how I made that style font. And you're probably wondering why this shit say it's a little bow wow. So. The backstory to this is I wanted to create like an intro screen of like someone like an NPC character or NPC um, kind of intro you introing the player of what the hell they're doing. And I 
I put this like in the air. This is another AI art, AI art, and I generated it, and that shit looked like a little bow wow. And I thought, you know, Fast and Furious, little bow wow, that should be funny as fuck. So I said, What's up, it's a little bow wow. I created a little story. Um, infiltrate Suki and her crew, and then that's, um, oh yeah, first, who the fuck are you? So this is kind of the intro, of what you're doing, what the, the viewer is doing on this video game, and now here comes the selection screen. And you can see, I these ones I created, but like, I thought it'd be a cool idea to have all the artists in the Dream Shaolin crew here, and then when you select it, that's the verse that's going to come up. So the first verse is Adam Shaolin, that's the first selection you do. And then you select a uh, the car. So uh, Nissan Skyliner, obviously that's in the movie. So that was the first one I thought. I asked my homie, Serge, who gave us the camera, what other cars should do to name a car. He said uh, the Porsche, so that's, what, that's the one I chose. And then my favorite, of course, is the goddamn fucking ice cream truck. And I wanted to use that for my character, but you know I thought it'd be funny to save it last. So there's an ice cream truck later. Um, and then now choose a location. So the story behind these Shaolin, of course, the one and only, the mystical, the magical land. Shaolin, Dream Shaolin was the first one. Long Beach is where we recorded and we're based out of, so I thought that'd be a cool other one. And then Polo Grounds. Uh, the artist is called Jody Polo, play on word. Polo Grounds was an old baseball stadium back in New York, and I thought that'd be a cool uh, location to drive so you'll see all these locations and cars being and characters being driven well three of the characters being driven in the whole music video don't want to spoil it for you check it out if you want to see it all but that was kind of like one big aspect of it and i'll show you the second big aspect so this is another big part that i wanted to go over which is the driving scene and just to set this up as you can see the artist is or the viewers chosen johnny miyagi the porsche and uh long beach so Right here, whoops. Right here, you'll see a kind of what uh, the driving scene entails. And let me just mute this real quick. And you can see how the cars are moving and all that. And in order to get like this kind of process, we had to. All these are are still images and just keyframed, right? So you got the background, you got the two cars the road, the lines on the road, and the outskirts. And they're all, well, except maybe the background, they're all moving to make it look like these cars are actually moving and being animated. And how we did that was, like for example, on the pink Suki car, we keyframed it so it would uh, get smaller, zoom out, I'm trying to say, and move to the right. As you can see, same with the white car, uh, the Porsche. And the white lines are being keyframed to move down. And what we did is it technically it takes up the whole screen, but I cropped it. So you only see this part and that moves down. And the background and the road are still images. And then the outskirts is actually from a video that I uh, credited in the music video. And I'll credit in this video as well. Where the 8-bitted like outskirts are like roads like this too. So that's where I took it from. Just because it looks really cool and I wanted to implement it in my video. And their shit looks dope as hell. Um, so go check them out as well. I'll link the video. And that's how I kind of made this editing. And then um, I have the ice cream truck come in here. Like kind of zoom up. And you'll get it if you watch the music video. And then of course the classic dialogue screen. And this is your character. Who the hell is that? Um, and then just how they talk to each other. Okay, so that was the second part I wanted to show you. And like the last kind of big scene is the live action shot where you see our faces and how we transition from this 8-bit world to a uh, more, uh, sorry, to a live action uh, uh, shot. So what I thought would be a cool transition, so still on the Johnny Miyagi Long Beach and the Porsche uh, section of the video, we have... The front shot of Johnny Miyagi and Suki right here. And you can kind of see his face zooming up right here if you really look. And basically, we zoom up on the character. And this is where the kind of the loading screens stick into the video game theme. And coming down here. And you can see um, Johnny here, quote unquote driving. Let me mute this. And you can see 
background obviously it doesn't look fucking real it looks fake as hell but that was kind of the idea and how we created this shot was here's the chair we had here's john and he's in front of a green screen now two things i wish i did differently that i'll tell you right now one is i wish we didn't have this chair here i thought it would be i didn't really think about it and i thought when i was editing the car you wouldn't see it but it is what it is and plus you have to match the seats together to make it look real so finding that was kind of hard uh, but i i found an image online of an interior and i cut and on photoshop i cut out the window uh i cut out um yeah basically just the windows and made it transparent and then i put a background layer so that's one layer let me take that off uh, whoops wrong one the hell is it oh yeah so if you see that that's a one layer and then let me take out john and the background layer is like just a i put a motion blur on a stock footage of driving so it kind of looks like that and that's how i made that i uh effect that he's actually driving and the, like i said where i mentioned before the, the green screen you can kind of still see it it's just because that shit was not the same shade. Like, I wish it was flat. It was really wrinkly, and it didn't come out perfect. So if you really look, you can still see the green screen. So that's why I say get a flat green screen. Actually, here, you can kind of see it right here, John. So you, <laughs> you can kind of see his shit right here, the green screen, how it, like it's not the best looking. Here, I'll show you this one. Damn, we ugly as hell. Maybe we're not the most handsome. But right here, you can kind of see. Uh, right here, you kind of see how like the background is wrinkly it didn't come out like all that like i wish it came out because you don't really need all this but you just need this and if that shit is like not wrinkly it would have came out better so yeah that's basically how we created the driving scene we did like one shot like that and then uh if i show you my other homie we did like a front oh that's a side shot we did a a front facing shot like this like it looks goofy but that's kind of the point yeah so that's about it for the process pretty simple uh simple uh ways of filming it and doing the edits and just an idea that i wanted to kind of break down and, and talk about because i really liked it and hopefully you learn something of what to do what not to do and implement that with your uh music video and your or video just in general editing and all that and we have a lot more coming out soon so you know stay tuned subscribe like comment share tell your grandma tell your mom tell your sister tell your girlfriend i don't know and follow us on instagram at dream shaolin on tiktok if that shit's still around and dream uh we have a lot of music videos a lot of videos a lot of music a lot of art and everything in between so come check us out all right that's it i'm done recording this shit goodbye